Hello, uh, this is another video in my series about Chrome extensions, which, you know, right now I just want to say at the beginning of this video, I hope to actually turn this playlist into something that's instead of saying Chrome extensions, just say browser extensions, because that is something that is quite possible beyond simply the browser Chrome, but I'm st gonna stick with Chrome right now as I work through all the details. So, what am I going to add in this particular video? Well, as you can see here in my diagram, <laughs> I can't see over there anymore. My monitor is now blocked by something else. As you can see in my diagram here, I have talked about content scripts and background scripts. And what I'm going to add today is something called a pop-up. So a pop-up is a page that you can launch that's essentially like an overlay of what's, what's in the browser at, the certain, at a certain moment. And I can launch it via a browser action. For example, clicking a button that I have in the top over here, I can press that button and I can have some sort of pop-up come up. So I could do things like, oh, I could have an interface where I could change colors or make selections or, or type in a word that I wanna look up. I could augment the browsing experience through a separate pop-up page that is, that is part of my Chrome extension. So that's what we're gonna make in this tutorial. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the code that I had at the end of my background script tutorial, which uh, if we look at, and I've already made a copy of it into a new folder, which I'm calling pop-ups, uh, which and you can find a link to this code for this tutorial in the description as usual. Um, and uh, what, I'm, what I have is that manifest.json file. So I've already changed it to coding train extension three. Maybe I'll say, you know, I'll change this to coding train pop-up. Uh, it is a, the content script is available for all URLs, the background script. Now, interestingly enough, I actually don't need a background script just to have a pop-up. Like I might need a background script for something else that's going on in my extension, but I don't need it just for the pop-up. So I think just for simplicity in this particular tutorial, I'm gonna take out the background script and I'm actually going to just delete the file that is the background script. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna leave it there because eventually one thing that I'm gonna want to do is if you recall, a way that I sent a message, the way that I controlled the content script or, or made an event happen in the content script from the background script was sending a message. And actually what I'm probably gonna wanna do now is send a message from the pop-up to the content script. So the code that's in the background script is gonna become useful for me because I can use that same code in the pop-up. All right, so, but <clears throat> when there's a browser action, I want there to be something more. I want there to be a default uh, pop up. No, it's not written over there, what I'm supposed to type right here. I just looked over there because there was something interesting happening. I didn't put any notes over there. Uh, and I want this to be, um, now can I make that in another folder? Let's try this. What I want to try to do is make the pop up an entire piece. Let's actually first just make it an HTML page. So I'm going to just call it popup.html. And I think I need to say, oh, I don't need to, but I can say default. Uh, title, and this will appear in like the tool tips, like a pop-up will come here. All right, so I think that is now some stuff that I can add to now have a pop-up. Now, what this means is there needs to be an HTML page called popup.html. So I'm gonna make that file, popup.html, and I'm just gonna, I mean, I, I, sh I don't really know, you need all this stuff in the HTML page, but let's just, put basically like something really basic there right now, just to say like, hello, or, or I know, uh, choo choo. Okay, so this is, this page I wanna see pop up when I press that button in the browser. Okay, here we go. So now, uh, what do I need to do? Remember, I need to load the code, I need to load that extension, 05 pop-ups, this is the one I'm gonna select, the whole folder, I'm gonna hit select, no errors occurred in the loading of this extension, so it should be fine. Now I can go to any page. I just happen to be going to my coding train, I mean my Chrome extension tutorial page. So I go there, now look. I should be able to see this button right here. This is my button. The reason why it has that image is because I included the default icon to be this PNG file. And if I click there, look at that. There's my pop-up. <laughs> I mean, it can't have a giant choo-choo right there and not use the train whistle. All right, so 
We see that the pop-ups work. Now, let's try to do something a little bit more interesting with the pop-up. Let me see if I can put an animation there or something. Let's see if I can put a whole P5 sketch there. Um, so, let's try that. So, what I want to do, I'm going to just work with the file system for a second. Like, let me see if I can do, I'm going to make a folder called Sketch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to actually delete popup.html. We saw that that worked. I'm going to, uh, Pause for a second and come back in a second. <laughs> and I'm back. Now, uh, what I have done in that very long amount of time, way longer than it should have ta taken me, is I have grabbed one of my previous examples from a coding challenge that generates a maze, and I've put all of the code for that coding challenge in a folder called Sketch. So now what I want is for the pop-up to display that example. Let's just look at that example, what that example does. I've got that example also just running here in the browser. Um, uh, let me just quickly go to that. Uh, so this is the example. It, it generates a maze using a particular algorithm <laughs> that I used a long time ago in the challenge. So what I want is when I click this, um, the file's not there anymore, I want to see that maze. Okay, here we go. We're going to make this happen. So what do I do? What I have to do is, uh, this file doesn't exist anymore, I deleted it. Um, what I need to do is here, the default pop-up should be sketch slash index.html. So the question is, is that enough? If I just point to that page that's in the sketch folder, will it work or do I need to do something more to reference the different JavaScript files and libraries and things that I'm using? Let's find out. And then I'm going to change, oh, let me just show you that here. We should see, we should say uh, generate a maze. That's going to be the message, uh, the little tooltip message when you hover over the button. So I need to go and reload the Chrome extension. And it doesn't actually really matter what page I'm on, but I'm going to stick on this page. If I hover over here, you should see, right, I'm getting that generate a maze message. And then that worked. So that was actually quite easy. <laughs> uh, so you can see here, I have the maze generating in the pop-up. And interestingly enough, let me press that, but it goes away. Is it going to pause and continue from where it was before? Is it going to start over? Had it already been running for a while when I first clicked it? I didn't even notice. Let's look again. Let's see. This is interesting. It started over. So notice this is very important. This is a page that's being loaded fresh each time, every time you click. It's not a page that's running and being hidden and then revealed, it's actually a new page that's being loaded. Which brings up another question. How do I debug something that's happening on the pop-up? Is there something here? Nope, whoops. So let's add a console.log into the pop-up. Um, this is actually all of that code. Um, and I'm just going to say console.log uh, frame count. So this is what I would log typically in a P5 sketch. If I wanted to just see that it was running, it should say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, counting every single frame. So now I'm going to reload the extension. I'm going to refresh over here, and I'm going to click the button. So where is it logging that? Well, let's look in the JavaScript console. Uh, let's try clicking the button again. It's, it's, it's over my console. Let me try again. No, so notice how this is not where the, only the content script is playing a role in the actual content page. This pop-up is just information. So this video is about to end because I'm kind of at the end of it, but I need to do something. What I want to show is how you can have the content script send a message, I'm sorry, the pop-up send a message. Because ultimately, maybe I want to build an interface there where I, you know, I made a, Chrome extension where I doodle on the page. So maybe I can like pick a color or change the line thickness, that type of thing. So I'm going to get to that in the next video, but I at least want to figure out where I can debug this stuff. If I look here, this is where I would have a console log for a background script, but I don't have a background script. This is a pop-up. I don't see it there. Where is it? So actually, thank you to the chat who clued me in on this. I'm going to press this button here and I'm going to right click. And if I right click, I now see I have this option called inspect and I can select that 
and it's going to bring up another window. I can go over to console. So this is the JavaScript console for the pop-up. There's a JavaScript console for the page, content page. There's a JavaScript console for the background script. And now there's a JavaScript console for this particular pop-up. Okay, so I've shown you how to add a pop-up. You can do this. Anything that you can put on a web page can be in a pop-up. Um, you could start querying APIs and drawing maps and doing anything in that pop-up. So what I want to do in the next video is show you how to send a message from the pop-up to the content script and uh, change something in the interface by what you're doing in the pop-up. And I kind of have, I have an idea for that.